I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we are going to learn how to find area of a polygon. We'll actually learn two different strategies to find the area. As an example, I've taken up a pentagon and we'll see how to find area of this pentagon in two different ways. The question here is, determine the area of pentagon ABCDE with vertices a minus 1 minus 2, b is minus 3 1, c is 0 4, d 2 3 and e is 4 0. So here is the pentagon where the vertices a minus 1 minus 2 is right there, b minus 3 1 is this one, c which is 0 4, d is 2 3 and then here we have e 4 0. We'll actually discuss two different techniques to find the area of this polygon. One of them is called boxing. Boxing in technique. So basically what we do here is we make a box around the pentagon like this. So we take care that the vertices that the pentagon itself is inscribed inside the rectangle. That's the whole idea, right? So some vertices will be right there on the rectangle. Some could be inside, as you can see here, right? So the vertices A, B, C and E are on the edge. D is not. However, we can connect D to the vertex and then what you observe here is that we get five triangles, correct, outside. So one, two, three, four and five triangles. So to find the area of this pentagon, what we will do is we'll calculate the area of the box first. So we'll have box area. And from there, we'll take out five triangles area. So those five triangles which are external, five triangles area, which are external, five triangles, I should write external triangles. Since we are interested in internal area of this pentagon, does it make sense, right? Okay, so now let's write down what is the box dimension. Well, the box which I have made here has got length as from minus 3 to 4 means 7 units, correct? And this width is from minus 2 to 4, which is 6 units. So the box area is 6 times 7 and from there we will take out area of these triangles. So let me work it out individually for each triangle right here. So the very first one is, let's say this triangle with the side AB. The dimension here is 2 by 3. So we have 2 times 3 divided by 2. So that gives you an area of 3. Right? This triangle, we have 1, 2, 3, 3 by 3, divide by 2, half base into height, 9 divided by 2, 4.5, correct? Next one, height of 1 unit, and 1, 2, 3, 4, so it is 4 times 1 divided by 2, so it is 2 units. Here, this dimension is 2, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so it is 2 times 4 divided by 2, so that gives you four units and the last one here is two units down. So two times five on this side divided by two means five units. So the sum of all these is how much? It is, we can add three plus 4.5 plus two plus four plus five. Correct? Okay? So these are 3, 4.5, 2, 4, and 5, right? So, so the area becomes 42 minus how much? 
4 and 5 is 9 to 11, 11 and 3, 14, and 4.5 means 18.5, correct? So when you take away 18.5 from 42, you get 0 0.5, 11 take away 8 is 3, and 3 take away 1 is 2, so we get 23.5 units square as the area. Perfect. So I think that's simple enough, and this is excellent strategy to find area of any polygon. Perfect. Now, we'll also talk about second strategy, which is called shoe in, right, or shoe string. So it is called shoe string method. Well, some of you who have done vectors might have used this. So if you've done vectors, we know cross product, right? Or if you've done matrices, you use a similar method. But here, for most of you who haven't done all this, we'll give you the formula to work with. Okay, so it works like this. A pentagon will have five general points. We'll call them as x1, y1, x2, y2 x3, y3, x4, y4, and x5, y5. So these are five general points. So the area is given as half of, area is always positive, absolute value of something. And how do we get something? That is complicated, but I'll tell you an easy way to remember. So we write all these x's first, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, end with x1. And then y values, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, end with y1. So the formula actually includes these products. These products which I have shown you, they are with positive sign. So these are with positive sign. The products which I am going to now show you in the reverse direction, will be with the negative sign, right? So these will be negative sign. Some of all this comes inside. You get the idea, right? Now, we'll actually plug in the values and calculate to show you the result. So area for us will be equals to half of, I'll write these values, x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5 are these values, which is minus 1, minus 3, 0, 2, 4, end with minus 1. Then the y values are minus 2, 1, 4. So minus 2, 1, 4, 3, and 0. End with minus 2. Correct? So the area can now be written as half of these products as positive, right? Absolute value of. So these products. Do you see that? These products as positive. So minus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1, 3 times 4, this is again a negative sign, this is 0, then again a 0, and then 4 times 2 minus 8, right? We get all this. Now the other products are with negative or whatever the product is. So, so those ones are minus, so I'm writing negative outside, and inside I'll write these products, 3 times 2 is 6, that is 0, okay. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. And that is 0, right? So all this, absolute value. Okay, let's calculate this value. So so let me move forward. So it is half of, uh, we can add all, these are all negative values. So let's just add them up. We'll make absolute. So we'll make them positive. So it is minus 1, minus 12, minus 13, with minus 8 gives you minus 21, minus 27, uh, and then minus 27, 35, and 35 and 12 is 47. So it is half of minus 47, correct? The absolute value makes it positive 47, and half of 47 is indeed 23.5, unit square area units is that clear to you 
So that is how you can easily find the area using shoestring method, right? So that's an excellent method, can be utilized for any polygon. It's a, so this is kind of pulling up a shoestring, right? So that helps you remember the product and the difference formula. So I hope that helps. So that is how you take it out. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.